All right, so we have a motor. This is a GE dryer. Um, when you press the push to start switch, push the push to start switch, the motor will run. As soon as you release the push to start switch, it the motor turns off. Um, also, it will heat when you're holding the push to start switch. Um, but that's a kind of a red heron, so let's ignore that one real quick. So this is how I learned how to do this. I um, I grab the wire diagram and look at it when I know machines work. Um, so the motor is right here. We know the motor is right here. Let's uh, let's analyze how the motor gets line one. So we got line one right there. Got line one right there. Let's just uh, line one. Goes to the timer, from the terminal block to the timer, through the timer, to right there, this point in the push to start switch. From the brown, through this high limit thermostat, which is probably on the blower. I could be wrong, I don't know exactly. High limit, actually, that's, that's, that's on the uh, top right hand corner of the heater can. I believe. Don't quote me on that one. Um, so that line one first comes to the push to start switch. So when you push that down, line one jumps across and is connected over here to the motor. But only when you push to start. Okay. And the motor will run when you push that push to start. And we have the neutral over here. Yeah, the neutral comes through your door switch, so your door switch has to work in order for that motor to run. Here's the overload protection. This overload protection is internal of the motor, so that is part of the motor. So this is all the motor. Electrically, this is the motor. It, physically, it's on the motor. Um, so you have neutral that goes through the motor, through your run, run wind-ins over here. And you see how you see how you're here? You have your start wind is here. So when you're pushing it, you'll have electricity go through here, through this right there. And temporarily it'll go through the start until it starts. Now as soon as it starts, full speed, what happens? This little centrifugal switch, it turns off the start wind is. Not only does it turn off, it actually turns on. It goes right here. You see this? It goes from this contact here to this contact here. So it goes so now, you have power going here. But wait a second. You release that. So you still have line one here. Line one comes down here and goes through this. This is idler spring switch. What's an idler spring switch, which is always closed in the power? So that's how the motor gets power when you are not pushing that start switch. So if you push the start switch... And it runs. But as soon as you release it, it no longer runs. Two things. Three things. A wire connection from the start down here. The wire connection. Or the wire connection from the idler to the motor. So that's the wire connection. Slide one. The idler spring, part two. Or an internal motor brokage. Something's broken. Like the centrifugal switch is broken. Number three. So we've learned we have... The idler spring switch, the motor itself, or wiring. And that's pretty simple.